and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This one, all about cars from the last decade, from 2010 until present. Well, I say the most modern car we have is a 2019 car, uh, if you exclude the Warhawk, that's technically futuristic, so we kind of don't count the Warhawk too much, but yeah, we've got a selection of relatively modern cars that we are going to go racing with. I have a Subaru. It has the Flat 4 Turbo Rally. Great, we have the pickup and the SUV on the front row. Perfect, that is just what we need starting this race at the front. Now it is winter, which means that, well, this, tra this track's not too much affected by it. Snow tyres are important. Uh, if you end up a little bit, uh, if you end up offline here, you'll want snow tyres, say offline, uh, even slightly off circuit, um, across the kerbs, there is snow to be dealing with. Um, some of the other tracks, of course, will be covered in snow, and if you don't have snow tyres, you're going to be in for a pretty rotten time. Now, my Subaru, I mean, judging by the field of cars we have, I'm going to guess that I am very low on power, very slow down the straights, and very, very quick in the corners, considering everything currently around the front is big SUVs. I guess the Stinger is a little more close to my vehicle in type, so to speak, but uh, I do believe it is much faster. <laughs> I do believe most of the cars have many more horsepowers than I, so this is going to be fun. Uh, it's side by side battling through the final corner. I'm going to try and be sneaky and maybe make the most of the opportunity, if not to get past the Mercedes, to at least box it in so it can't get past the Bentayga. Uh, now, I mean, the <laughs> well, I guess when you're in the pickup truck, you are the stronger vehicle, and what you say goes. I'm going to run out. I'm going to run out of checkpoint if I do that. <laughs> there is a point where you have to know to give up. There is a point where to give up is the better thing to do, and that will be me into the lead uh, quite nicely on that. No, you put teammate in the wall, that means you get to go visit the wall the other side. Uh, we will get... Oh, get the Ventego back past. That's fine. Okay, we will try and run away and stay out of trouble as best we can. I feel, I feel like we've probably got the vehicle for this one. I feel like we might have the vehicle around the city streets to escape from the pack because while yes I might struggle with straight line speed it doesn't really matter all that much around here, you know, the top end we get to 120 that's about all we're going to need down this oh, start finish road I actually don't think, well I might not have the same quite top end as the uh, vehicles battling away behind my acceleration seems pretty reasonable so I will take that uh, points wise, I mean things are looking pretty Pretty good for a red team. A couple of blue cars. There's a couple of blue cars struggling. I'm judging, or I'm guessing, by the gaps going on in Pega Mr. Checkpoint, as that's quite a long way off the tail end of the field. I didn't actually see what kind of Pega was in. Uh, you and might have had trouble as well. Or using a Bentley, which is a brave. <laughs> a brave choice is the Bentley uh, around. Mm, I say around any circuit, really. You don't get much PI to play with. It's a very big, very heavy car. It does have a mighty wing, I believe. I think I saw it before while we were setting up. So there is a mighty wing in the field, which is always good. I think it's safe to say the Subaru is probably the way to go here. We've got a 1-2-3 now for red team. We have the Stinger set up in that third position. Yeah, blue's, blue team's cars are not working here. It is safe to say they have plummeted the Stelvio uh, that was sat around. Well, I like Stelvio personally. One of my go-to... One of my go-to sort of heavy duty off-roaders, but that's up in S1 class, get some crazy engine swaps, some good tyres and everything, and it is good fun around a twisty sort of street circuit. Oh no! <laughs> Take has gone. Well, it was going well. I love that the best, the second best to blue team is the limo. The limo, oh, up in fifth. It's doing pretty well. The limo limo's now up into fourth, Christ! <laughs> the limo is very good on this game, weirdly. The limo just, it works. It seems to have crazy levels of traction for no real good explained reason. It just does. Um, yeah, things have fallen apart a little bit for us here. Uh, I say have fallen apart. We've still got a massive points lead. Things have fallen apart a little bit in terms of getting a nice lockout at the top. Uh, our, yeah, Bentayga is down in 10th. Which is less than ideal. I have just got a not miss a checkpoint like a Muppet, as I very nearly did through <laughs> that corner. Yeah, and our car was... The Kia looks very... I don't know whether 
it's a glitchy something. It looks, it looks like the Kia is just caked in snow, and cars tend not to get that covered in snow in Forza. I mean, as you can see by the pristine, clean Subaru that uh, that I am driving around here. Yeah, I mean, it must be the combination of paint and the way the models render in, etc. Uh, the Bentayga's back up to seventh. Well, here we go. It is a victory for the Subaru. I'll take it. A very, very solid start for Red Team. So, up next we head to the Greendale Foothills Scramble. We head partially off-road, but I think everywhere's covered in snow. Regardless, uh, there is one dirt section. The rest of the track, though, is covered in snow. I believe this part of the map is from memory. We have everyone connected for this round. I am starting down towards the back, so there's going to be some work for the for the Subaru to do. Uh, I would be surprised if there are any cars not running on snow tyres, given the condition. Like, it crossed my mind to try and build something, but when it's winter, it's really... <laughs> it's really... There's a no-brainer at this point. Uh, you kind of got to go for snow tyres if you want any chance of you know, getting anywhere, because even the tarmac races can... Well, what would normally be tarmac races can be covered in snow and then you have no speed anyway, so... Yeah, I would imagine everything's going to be on, on snow tyres. There might be a few brave souls going for two-wheel drive. Uh, it can it can be okay. I mean, it's never going to be as good as all-wheel drive, you know, around the hairpins, for example. But, uh, yeah, two-wheel drive can still can still work relatively well, but it is still a brave, a brave choice. And you are probably going to struggle in some races, basically, if you go for, go for that. Uh, we have had not a bad start. We're up to sixth. Points-wise, pretty even so far here. Uh, hopefully, well, now that we've got the team sorted, uh, we might have a little bit more of an <laughs> even, even contest. Ewan is going to play in the ditch. Christ, that was... Oh, that was very, very close to a very bad day. I mean, everyone's been off there at some point when racing on, on Horizon. Uh, don't really know where the breaking point is down here. Probably later than all the cars ahead of us. Can I duck underneath the... Oh... Yep, we'll get the Bentley. See, we just got the acceleration. I don't have the power of the Bentley anywhere near, but I am lighter. I am much lighter in this. Blue team currently have first and second. They might not have second for much longer. Oh, Stelvio coming under. Coming under pressure. There's a, there's like a stinger fighting with an Alpine further back. Uh, right, so we're up. We could do with getting the Alpine past you. And there comes the Bentley's power. <laughs> it won't be in range to have a dive at turn one, though. That is the uh, good thing. Won't be anywhere near close enough to have a go at turn one. Uh, we need to make the most... Oh, that's very thick snow. Don't want to be over there. Oh, no, the Bentley's missed a checkpoint anyway, so that kind of that kind of helps us out massively. That <laughs> takes a little bit of the pressure off us having to try and break up blue teams one and two. Uh, come on, Subaru. Got to use... Got to use... I guess my much lighter car. I am the one car fighting against trucks at this point. Uh, well, we've got one pickup, two massive SUVs, and then there's an Alpine a little further back. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I've got the pace of the Mercedes around here. Uh, oh, we are turned to play in the ditch. Not quite as wide as the Bentley went last time. Now we have a Bentley of our own for company. This is the problem. If we get stuck fighting one another, we might not be able to catch Longbow. But I can just break and outturn the Bentayga by so much. Uh, <laughs> the, oh, it's annoying. And we're just going to get out dragged, and then we'll outhandle the Bentayga uh, through this next corner. In fact, the Bentayga's not even going to not going to try that. Yeah, so we can carry way more speed through here. That's to be expected. We're considerably lighter than the car. We're probably hard, well, not quite. This <laughs> sadly not quite as light as some of the vehicles I have run, but. Getting on for half the weight of that Bentayga will outstrip me down here. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a boring, say a bit, a bit of a lonely fight for third, I should think, unless I can get a mega, get a couple of mega laps together. I know the, Stel the Stelvio gets some really good tyres. Well, yes, it gets some good tyres. Some of the SUVs, they get these special off-road, basically it's their equivalent of rally tyres are slightly better off-road tyres, and... Stelvio gets those, can be very, very quick in the right off-road conditions. This is the bit we can catch if I don't throw it all away. I don't whether we're going to be close enough to do anything after in the air. Uh, long bit, a little bit iffy going on to the tarmac there. 
But I think we're going to just find ourselves in a pretty similar position. <laughs> we're going to be dropped a bit down here. Come on, Subaru. There's a tiny, tiny tap on the brakes. We've reeled in the Alfa Romeo a little bit. Bentayga's still close, but won't be close enough to have a dive. I wouldn't have thought, because it won't. I mean, it, it's close enough to have a dive, but it can't outbreak me, so... It has, to, it has to break so much earlier that its dive won't work. Uh, we are... Okay, we're close more around the Stelvio. I think Longbow had a little bit of an iffy lap. I've had a fairly good lap. We're closer than I thought we might have been. Mercedes is gone. Lap times will be interesting to see, but we never will, sadly. This Team Adventure couldn't possibly tell you who got the fastest lap. I had a really bad final sector, and that's put me in a problematic area, shall we say. Oh, we need that second at the moment. Points-wise, things are not going our way. Uh, Bentayga's going to the outside, but won't be able to outbreak me regardless of where it puts the car. So yeah, we have to get second. So I had a good, very good start to the lap, messed up the end of the lap. Uh, <laughs> can we get that Alfa Romeo? That is the question. Merck's long gone, barring a missed checkpoint, we're not beating the Mercedes. Can we get any of our cars further back, higher up positions? I don't know. Um, I'm not quite sure what cars were, well, who, who's driving what further back. Uh, the Bentley's not really recovered from that early missed checkpoint, uh, but it has got you know, it's got 100 points at the end of the day, and that's, that is kind of important. So, yeah, we really, really close. Uh, annoyingly, the section that I'm very strong at is right at the start of the lap. The section I need to be strong at is at the end of the lap, because, well, we need to be ahead when we come across the finish line. Oh, well, Lombo was a little wide. I was a smidge wide again, but yeah, we're closer. It's tantalising. We can dive... On the final lap, I will have the best stopping car down here. You know, that is the huge... Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I think that was one of our uh, Alpines. I think that will be it over. Sadly, for a red team, it doesn't even matter if I do manage to get the second place. It won't. It will be for... It will be for naught because the points won't be enough, barring a miracle. You know, barring a blue team car missing a checkpoint, we won't have got enough. So, regardless, we will still fight on. We still want the second place. Bentayga is actually going to completely screw us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we weren't going to get it anyway, but the Bentayga has completely ruined any chance we had. Uh, the only way we were going to be able to... Well, I say that unless Longway makes any mistakes, because we need to, to be absolutely on the bumper of the Stelvio through here, and while I can fend off the Bentayga, I lose, I lose the important, you know, speed through that first corner. We are closer than we have been, but no, it's not going to be enough. It's going to be exactly the same story as we saw last couple of laps. I'll let the Alpha clear a path for me. <laughs> we'll make the most of the Alpha clearing fences out of the way. A little bit sneaky, but I'll take it. Uh, can we make the most of the Alpha? Oh, no, the wall wasn't cleared there. I just clicked a telephone pole or whatever. Hmm. We're not going to... You see, if I was going to beat the Alpha, we'd have to have a dive here. Because the problem I'm going to face is I bet I can get past it with a couple of corners to go. But it's just going to beat me to the finish line anyway. So, I mean, it's Longbow as well. So, the game will just give Longbow the position regardless. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to do it, sadly. Uh, kind of glad it didn't end up coming down to this as being what uh, what decided the adventure because in the end it wouldn't have gone our way as it stands it won't go our way uh, regardless off goes the Stelvio Subaru is not doing too badly in this field um, it is yeah it's pretty quick it's pretty quick uh, just not at that not at those those longer straights well blue team get their round victory So, we head to the Broadway Village Circuit next. Now, this is a place that the Subaru should relatively like. Have a good spot on the grid. That is always helpful. Uh, we will be on the second the second row. The two Bentleys are on the front two rows. There's a little bath thrown in for good measure. Yeah, this should be a track that works for, for my car. We know the Bentayga is not too bad. Not for an SUV, it's not terrible in the corners. Uh, the Abarth, I don't know. It might... And it is all-wheel drive. I wonder if that might be one of the rear-wheel drive cars. It seemed to struggle a little bit on the old, uh, old off-roady 
side of things, but nope, it's just got a load of understeer <laughs> by the looks of it. Right, it's a red team, one, two, three. That will work quite nicely for me. Uh, we're going to have to, oh god, miss that corner, the Bentega. Uh, he got away with that. That is very lucky. That is very lucky. It's easy to end up missing the checkpoints by accident doing that sort of thing. So, yeah, okay, we, I mean, we outturned the Bentega. Uh, we, we know we did. Uh, oh, there goes the Abarth, a massive dive. I'm, I say lucky, I only just saw that in time. I was already ready to, to turn in. I was on a slightly wider line. Oh, he's going to have a look. So, okay, so the problem with the Abarth is it has a lot of grip, and even I pull away from it down the straights, and that's not ideal. Because it's going to make actually completing a pass rather difficult. Uh, it, it's going to get stuck to the outside through there. The Bentayga clears the fence out. Uh, we are little bit, a little bit stuck at the moment. We want to get past the Bentley so I can stop being under pressure from the uh, from the Abar. There is a Jag as well. It's the first time we've really seen the Jag. Uh, that struggling at some of the earlier circuits. We might be able to have a go at the inside of the Bentayga here. But, of course, you don't want to push your teammate outside of a checkpoint to get a pass done. So you've got to be a little bit careful going crazy aggressive with the overtakes. I just don't think the Bentega can turn well enough. Uh, <laughs> we, I might have understood a little bit more. Didn't intend on uh, giving the old the old Bentley a nudge on the exit there. Uh, yeah, I just didn't quite have the turning that I thought we were going to. Uh, Points-wise, is pretty close again between us. It's currently in red team's favour. Uh, we've got big, big Bentley roadblock now. I'm not, you're never really going to get a pass here unless you've had a mega run through turn two and you're fully alongside somebody. That is not a corner that uh, that you get overtakes on. This is possibly one. This is not the easiest track to, to pass on. That much is for sure. This is probably my best bet. If I can duck underneath it, uh, we can fire Subaru up the inside. Make it very difficult for the Bentley to do much on the exit. Uh, and then, I'd say defend if we need to up here, we probably won't again. It's always like I don't need to defend. This time we're not trying to chase down uh, a car off in the distance. Like I don't have to defend too crazy in some places because I know the Bentley won't have the brakes. Here I will because it could get alongside and slow us down. Uh, by doing that, oh, my turn to clonk out the fence. By doing that, I stop it from really being, or I put it on a wonky line itself. That looks like we're clear. I did see there was a bath very sideways going into turn one. <laughs> so, Far from, far from ideal uh, for for blue team. Uh, the limo is again doing okay. That's up in up in fifth place. As I said, as crazy as it sounds, the limo is really not all that bad at all when it comes to being built for a class. It's weird. Don't ask. <laughs> no, nobody knows. But it is yeah, not all that terrible. We will round the final corner. Uh, for this lap, and we are going to continue to lead, and we are pulling a gap away from the Bentayga. Yeah, I mean, the Subaru is... At the smaller circuits, the Subaru has the advantage. At the smaller circuits, the Subaru is pretty much the fastest car here. Uh, especially considering some of the fastest vehicles have been the SUVs, uh, which is... Uh, I, think, I mean, they work. As you can quite clearly see, they work. Uh, it's kind of strange in this field. You know, uh, actually... It's very in keeping, sadly, with current car trends. Everything needs to be an SUV. And apparently they even work for this stuff, which is annoying. Uh, what have we got? Oh, it looks like there is... Ooh, it's only 50 points to the good here. Christ, it's got a lot closer in this final. I'm really paying any attention uh, to the, the points. It is close. It's really going to depend on where Leathercap comes with that stinger as to how many points... Ooh, how close it's going to be. I do what I can in the Subaru. And what we can do is win. Uh, we get a 1 2 with the Bentayga. Oh, it's going to be really close. All we need is. Actually, it doesn't matter because all of our cars are across the line and got our points. Uh, oh no, wait, it does matter. You and snuck it on the line. Crap, I thought. Oh, I thought they were further back. <laughs> oh no. We should have won that. I th well, I say we should have won that. We're in trouble. It's off road next, and we're behind. So, up next we head to the Mortimer Gardens Scramble. Now, we have to win. Red team, if we are going to take this to another round, we've had another disconnection, that's always fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need to... 
we, we, we need to win. Um, as, as Blue Team have got two points so far. <laughs> I say fingers crossed. Uh, the big SUVs are probably going to work here. Again, it's more sensible off-roading, serious off-roading if you like. The limo is not. The limo is very much front-wheel drive. Ah, okay, so the limo is front-wheel drive as is the Clio on our team. So that would be why both of them struggle when it is, does go to full. Oh, it's, well, it's certainly off the line a little bit with these full off-road ones. That's not the thing I needed to hit uh, at the start. We, so we had a disconnection. I think it's a Stelvi. I think Lombo has, has disconnected from this. Now, generally speaking, the smaller team has a weird advantage with the way the points work out. Well, they have lost one of their faster cars. So, a smaller team, if it loses a, if it loses a weaker car... Uh, oh, there's a Bentley having a crash. I saw that. He <laughs> went skidding across the ice towards the uh, uh, whatever structures. Um, but yeah, if Blue Team have lost one of their faster technical off-road cars, then might be good news for us. In a, well, is it Alfa Romeo having electrical problems? Who would have thought it? Uh, that limo is mighty fast down the straights. But this is not really a track where you need much in the straight line speed department. Um, we might be able to oh, hold off here. Then we're going to try and just break into the ranks of blue cars up ahead. And there's a lot of them. And the good news is, is that we've got uh, two of our cars running free up at the front. Uh, we've got the Bentayga and we've got the Stinger. I'm surprised to see the Stinger working so well around here. But fair enough. If it's going, uh oh, don't land on the back of the Abarth. That hit some street furniture and lost every ounce of speed. Oh, going to be a little wonky. Don't really want to take out. Oh, okay, the fence didn't really slow us down that time around. So you're never really sure with the fences in this game. <laughs> some fences are tremendously mean and lose all your momentum. Some fences make bugger all difference to the car. Sometimes the same fence does different things at different times, it feels. So <laughs> you're, never, you're never really sure. Uh, we have caught up. Oh, we've caught up to the back of the Jag that did exactly the same thing I did, only I was so close there was no way to avoid it. Um, that's unfortunate for both of us. I guess we kind of pinged him. Uh, Pegger got off a bit there, uh, that, because at least they got some sort of momentum being pushed forward by me. It does look like fourth might be as high as we can get here, um, e assuming we can even pass the Gulf as the top guys are t too far, too far away. It'll duck underneath. Golf is running wide. Don't know. The Abarth is all, <laughs> all sorts of controlled problems by the looks of it. That does not look like an easy car to keep pointing in the right direction whatsoever. Every time I've looked back, it's been sideways in one way or another. Uh, I mean, the good news for us, I guess, here is that while things haven't gone amazingly well for me, points-wise, blue cars are not enjoying this track. I guess it's off-road, but it's not technical enough. It's not nasty enough off-road, perhaps for some of them to show. Maybe they need maybe, say, maybe they need uh, more straights for their, <laughs> their cars. Some of their stuff does look pretty damn fast down the straights. And yeah, as I said, they lost their Stelvio that was likely to score There's some pretty good points at this sort of uh, sort of a circuit. Oh, we'll just maybe make that corner. I mean, we're not really being dropped by the cars ahead. If anything, uh, probably quite similar. This track might actually work a little bit more for the Subaru. Uh, virtue of it isn't particularly high speed anywhere. But yeah, we just... I, there's nothing I can really do after, the, after that start. It was just too much work. Oh, yeah, that was me trying to be sneaky. <laughs> I like that line if you can get it right. In the snow it's not quite as easy to get right as... We're not in the snow, it's just less grip. I can take that risk, it doesn't matter. We're we're in no man's land, so it's kind of worth it, uh, I guess. There's a mistake to profit on from the cars ahead, but yeah, it was worth it was worth a risk, I think, a little bit there, uh, just to try something. Oh, the two ahead are really fighting, and that is going to give the Kia a victory. The Stinger will win. Not quite sure who is going to win the battle of the Merck and Bentega by the looks of it. The big Bentley is going to get that second place. We have a lonely fourth after a bad start. Uh, the Subaru continues to score some solid points. And Red Team will take the round victory. That will tie us up in terms of points. So, up next, or our final, in fact, 
circuit, I should say, is Lakehurst. The cop circuit. Right, we've got everybody back connected amazingly. We have got people reconnected almost efficiently in this game. Uh, this one's not covered in snow, I don't think. And the winner of this will win the adventure overall. I start on the front row, which is quite nice. Um, we might be able to make a little bit of a break for it. Uh, possibly. Uh, we will have to wait and see on this one. We might be able to make a little bit of a break. Depends on how much. I know the Merc's pretty quick top end. Depends on how good it is at some of the uh, twistier sections. This is a funny circuit. There are a couple of very, very long straights. If you don't have any straight line speed, you have a bad time. But there's also quite a lot of these kind of low speed corners. There's a very, very fast left-hander that we're going to be coming up to shortly. Uh, that, yeah, you need a bit of handling for. This is kind of a, a high speed grip circuit. I should be better than sub shall we say. I should be better, you know, I'll be better than the Merc, I would hope, anyway, through here. Uh, yeah, Mercedes isn't going to turn through that. You've got to be careful not to end up in the rocks. And we will come back past, and we will get it slowed down for this next fiddly part. Now, what we have to do is be far enough away by the time we get to the start-finish line. Because if we're not far enough away by the time we get to the start-finish line section, the Mercedes is just going to fly past us into turn one. That is in here. So now we're out of the last corner. Is this enough to stay ahead? Christ, I think that's a Volkswagen that's very fast down the straight. With 50 points to the good at the moment. Yes, I just run out of speed about 130, 140. And that's okay. We are, I say that's okay. It is It is what it is. Um, I have to hope that that's enough. And I have to hope that my handling is good enough to keep us far enough away. Point wise, it is looking good for now. Okay, the Mercedes is not going to, I don't think, I don't think the Mercedes has the grip to work around here. It's the high speed grip sections that it struggles on. I, I mean, I'm mildly concerned about the other. I don't think the above has the grip. That thing's looked sketchy to drive uh, all session when I've seen it, which makes me think I'm probably, I'm not that worried. Of all the cars I see behind me, I'm not the most worried about that one particularly. Uh, it's quite a jumbled up points thing at the moment. I'm doing all I can here for <laughs> red team. Uh, I can't do any more than this. We can't score any more points. Uh, it really is very, very close. I mean, the limo's up to fifth. Uh, just drop the, there's so much chopping and changing going on. Uh, Cleo just doesn't seem to be enjoying life. It may have missed a checkpoint. That's another thing that could well play a factor in this race. Missed checkpoints here is the area. Those first couple of corners, if you're a little too brave and get it wrong, it's super easy to end up out wide, miss the checkpoint, and that will lose you a heap of positions. Points-wise, actually now all gone wrong for us. Um, here, we've lost stacks of ground, and there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I probably have... I say I have the fastest car here, the limo's looking pretty quick as well. That would have been an interesting interesting matchup. It loses so much time of course off the start line. But even, I mean, even if it starts on pole, it's going to be mid-pack before it properly gets up to speed, just owing to that front-wheel drive start and what is a very powerful limo, I would presume. Uh, you know, when you've got 300 horsepower A-class handling car, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the greatest, but, you know, you can almost survive, but when <laughs> you've got a thousand or however, I don't know how much that has, a lot, I presume, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, points are super close still. Uh, I say I say that, we are 350 down, but if you look at the positions, they are mega close in that field. All it takes is one slip up, all it takes is one, one change of position, one little mistake from somebody, and yeah, it has now, it's now gone back our way again. <laughs> I have no idea which, which way, what way this is going to pan out. Uh, we are keeping the hordes at bay behind us. I say keeping the hordes at bay. It's, we are running off a little bit into the distance. Uh, the limo's up to a podium spot, which is fun. It's still the Abarth behind us. It's not really threatening all that much. I like this Subaru. You know, the Subaru works. It's a good... It's just a good ov overall car. Flat 4 turbo rally engine does generally work in things in A-Class. If you can get it in a car, it generally makes something pretty rapid. Not, this is not as rapid as the Legacy, but it's still a pretty good choice of car here. Oh, which way is this round going to go? 
Ender needs a position. Ender has got a position away. So it's, it's the Golf versus the Mercedes might decide this if no one else can get past. Maybe the Bentayga can beat the Stelvio. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to take the win. We take the win and it's a fairly clear victory, a fairly untroubled victory for the Subaru. We couldn't get the... Oh, we did! The Bentayga got it! The Bentley got it on the line. <laughs> We're going to win it by 50. Uh, the Alpine beat the Bentley Continental as well. That was another important, important battle. Our Clio beat the Jag. Again, equally, another important battle. Ooh. I definitely did not know uh, which way that was going to go. I mean, when I crossed the line, we hadn't won it. But we just got the points. We won it by 50. Yeah, the Subaru, pretty damn solid overall. Pretty, pretty solid overall. Uh, worked, yeah, those tight and more technical circuits worked. Worked wonders, could score enough points and take just a red team victory. That though is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to take part in the next one of these, you can sign up via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Ferraris versus the community section and you can sign up in there. That though shall be it for me. Thank you all very much for watching and until next time, a goodbye.